Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out bedtime story? Well, you're in for a treat tonight, because we have part 22 of The Twits by Roald Dahl. And tonight's story, chapter, is called Mugglewomp Has an Idea. As soon as Mr. and Mrs. Twit had disappeared down the road, the monkeys all flipped back onto their feet, the right way up. Quick, get the key, Mugglewomp called out to the roly-poly bird, who was sitting on the roof of the house. What key? shouted the roly-poly bird. The key to the door of our cage, cried Mugglewomp. It's hanging on a nail in a workshed. That's where he always puts it. The roly-poly bird flew down and came back with a key in his beak. Mugglewump reached a hand through the bars of the cage and took the key. He put it in the lock and turned it. The door opened and all four monkeys leapt out together. We're free, cried the two little ones. Where shall we go, Dad? Where shall we hide? Don't get excited, said Mugglewump. Calm down, everybody. Before we escape from this beastly place, we have one very important thing to do. What? they asked him. We're going to turn those terrible twits upside down. We're going to do what? they cried. You must be joking, Dad. I'm not joking, Mugglewump said. We're going to turn both Mr. and Mrs. Twit upside down with their legs in the air. Don't be ridiculous, the roly-poly bird said. How can we possibly turn two muggety old monsters upside down? We can, we can, cried Mugglewump. We are going to make them stand on their heads for hours and hours, perhaps forever. Let them see what it feels like for a change. How? said the roly-poly bird. Just tell me how. Mugglewump laid his head on one side and a tiny, twinkling little smile touched the corners of his mouth. Now and again, he said, but not very often, I have a brilliant idea. This is one of them. Follow me, my friends, follow me. He scampered off towards the house and the three other monkeys and the roly-poly bird went after him. Buckets and paintbrushes, cried Mugglewump. That's what we want next. There are plenty in the workshed. Hurry up, everyone. Get a bucket and paintbrush. Inside Mr. Twit's workshed, there was an enormous barrel of hug-tight sticky glue, the stuff he used for catching birds. Fill your buckets, Mugglewump ordered. We are now going into the big house. Mrs. Twit had hidden the key to the front door, under the mat, a mugglewump had seen her doing it, so it was easy for them to get in. In they went, all four monkeys with their buckets of sticky glue. Then came the roly-poly bird, flying in after them, with a bucket in his beak and a brush in his claw. The end of part 22 of The Twits by Roald Dahl. Mugglewump has an idea. Here on the Lights Out Podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. See you tomorrow for part 23 of The Twits. Good night.